the aviation sector in India in the middle of an unprecedented crisis. There have been job losses, massive retrenchments, no clear signs of when our airlines will return to some sort of profitability. In the midst of this, there are new opportunities as well. SpiceJet has been bringing back Indian nationals stranded in Kyrgyzstan. The airline today announced that it has secured rights to fly to the United States as well. Joining us now, Ajay Singh, the chairman and managing director of SpiceJet. We're also very privileged to have the film actor and producer Sonu Sood, who is a part of the mission to bring back Indian nationals uh, from Kyrgyzstan. Thank you both very much for being with us. Let me come to you first, Sonu. Uh, how and why did you choose to partner with SpiceJet to bring back these students from Kyrgyzstan? And can you give us an idea of how many Indian nationals are stranded there? Uh, thank you so much for having me. And, uh, you know, when the, when the whole uh, process of uh, migrant goes on, you know, sending them back to home. So I was receiving these messages from Kyrgyzstan, uh, from these uh, medical students. There were almost uh, 4,000 of them who were uh, stranded there and they said, you know, we want to come back. So I was going through their uh, details, you know, which part of Kyrgyzstan they're stuck, how they can come back. And when the whole um, uh, roadmap was designed, then I thought that why not, uh, you know, get them back to their homes and their families were calling me that they said, you know, you are the only one who can get them back home. So there's kind of a huge amount of responsibility on your shoulders. Then uh, you want to uh, have a, uh, a name uh, that you can uh, really rely on. And I think I can't have a better name than SpiceJet on all thanks to Ajiji also, who uh, took it as a mission. And uh, today, as you're talking, there are almost uh, 135 students uh, who have come uh, from Kyrgyzstan to Varanasi tomorrow. People are coming from uh, uh, to Vizag, to, to Hyderabad, Chennai, a lot of places. And we get all these students who are standing there in next one week. So I think that's kind of a big relief for all of us. All right. In fact, uh, we've got a small message from one of these uh, students as well. Let's play that message out um, and see what they've had to say. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. If so thank you so much for Sonu sir and Spice Jet. And we all love you a lot. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. And, the, and the, most, the most beautiful moment when our Indian flight Spice just landed in Kyrgyzstan. This is the most beautiful for us. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Well, that's fantastic, isn't it? It's such an important part of Vande Bharat and all that it seeks to do. Um, well, the man behind all of this, uh, Ajay Singh, is with us as well. Uh, you know, when I was speaking to you the last time, I think you mentioned something along the lines that um, during a crisis, there is always an opportunity. And one of the most interesting things which your airline has done is that you have focused, in addition to flights like what we saw, on cargo operations. You, you are now India's largest cargo operator. Um, tell us a little bit about that and how that's essential in a situation like this in ensuring that the business continues. Uh, well, uh, Vishnu, as uh, we spoke the last time, uh, as you know, passenger uh, traffic had come to a complete halt. There were no flights at all. Uh, and we needed to keep our operations going. Uh, so we thought that, uh, you know, while, uh, you know, people could stop going from one place to the other, there was... Uh, you know, a, a real necessity to get uh, goods from one place to the other, especially uh, during COVID times, uh, COVID material, uh, medicines, medical equipment, uh, PPE equipment, uh, uh, etc. Uh, and so we focused hard on that. Uh, and uh, in the last four months, uh, we've uh, carried, uh, you know, close to 25,000 tons of uh, cargo. Uh, and uh, so we played a useful social role. Uh, we... Uh, were able to survive commercially as a consequence of uh, uh, our uh, uh, effort to bring cargo. Uh, right. And, uh, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's it, like, like we said, there's always an opportunity uh, in, in, in a crisis. And uh, this was our opportunity and, uh, and we took it. We are also extremely glad that uh, uh, we were able to help so many people uh, in the process. Yeah. Uh, but we, you know, we've taken out fruits, vegetables for farmers, uh, fresh produce. Uh, yes. Uh, allow them to get to, to their markets, which would have been really difficult, you know, for, for them to sure. do. Sure. But Mr. So, Singh, so I must to... ask you today, uh, was this very unexpected announcement that you are set to fly to America. Now, how are you going to do that? You fly Boeing 737s, which are short to medium range uh, airliners. So how, are you, how and when do you plan to do that? 
Uh, well, uh, you know, this is the first part of uh, the process. Uh, Vishnu, as you know, uh, for, for so many years, we've been talking about uh, the importance of uh, uh, international hubs being in India and uh, India's ability to uh, transport its uh, citizens uh, to uh, Europe and uh, the United States. Uh, and uh, uh, given, uh, you know, this whole uh, emphasis on Atmanirbhar Bharat, uh, we think that this is an opportunity that uh, we must try and explore. Uh, and uh, as you know, India and uh, the United States have signed uh, what is uh, called a bubble uh, agreement, uh, which will allow uh, carriers from the United States to come to India and Indian carriers to uh, go to the United States, but at least for, for a period of time will not allow uh, other airlines and other countries uh, to be a part of this traffic. And we thought that in this, uh, there is an opportunity. Uh, as you know, at this time, uh, with the state of uh, aviation around the world, uh, aircraft are available at a cheaper cost as well. So we thought this was this was our opportunity to try uh, and experiment uh, with flights uh, to the United States as well as to Europe and Far East. So, so uh, we are looking at this seriously. We've uh, been designated uh, officially by the government of India. Uh, and uh, as you know, it takes time uh, to get clearances uh, in the United States of America. Uh, but uh, we are hopeful that we can get them uh, uh, soon. All right. Uh, so you won't like to tell us when or how soon you, you see that happening? Well, we'll try and do it as soon as possible. And uh, how many should... flights would you operate uh, to America? Uh, well, that all that is under planning uh, stages at this point, uh, Vishnu. But we have applied for permissions in the United States. And uh, we are hopeful uh, uh, that we will get those permissions uh, sooner rather than later. In, in this time, uh, you know, the regulators appear to have a little more time than, sure. than that usual. <laughs> and, uh, uh, you know, we are hopeful also that uh, our government will assist us in the process. Uh, okay. So uh, we, we hope we can start soon. One final question to, to Sonu. Um, you know, just the, the fact that you're involved in this process, bringing back people, could you give us a sense of the joy that it brings you? Uh, you can't put in words, Vishnu. All I can say is, you know, this is this start, started with a small uh, drive of sending 350 people to uh, Karnataka. And then, uh, as we are speaking now, almost from Jammu Kashmir to Kanyakumari, there's not been a single place that I haven't sent people back to their loved ones. And maybe more than a lakh people have already been um, connected. Now, it's, I feel that, you know, I have these extended families in Bihar, UP, Uttarakhand, all, all parts of the states I get everyday messages in this you know, lady who kept uh, his newborn. Who, uh, she was pregnant when I sent her to Darbanga. You know, she kept um, her son's name on mine. Uh, I mean, he, he, she kept her uh, son's name as Sonu Sood. So I think which was uh, very special. And I, I, I believe that this is my um, best, uh, I, I would say, last three, four months of my life. And I, I, I came to Mumbai to become an actor. Still, I'm doing one. But I think this is the best character that I played all these years. And sure. I can't. Thank uh, God enough to, you know, to choose me as a catalyst to do all this work. Well, Sonu and uh, Mr. Ajay Singh, thank you so much for being with us. Let us hope that India's aviation uh, sector prospers in the way that it was uh, till just a few months back. But uh, I think the hope that uh, you bring in, uh, Mr. Singh, uh, you know, a lot of people would be watching. Let's hope it works out. I'd like to thank all of you very much for joining us.